example two. We want to show that the integral from 0 to 1 of the square root of 1 plus cosine of x dx is less than 3 halves. So this is going to be very similar to when we did derivatives and we used a squeeze theorem. We're going to do something very similar. So again, we want to show that the area underneath this curve is less than 3 halves. So let's start with what we know. Well, we know that cosine of x is in between 1 and negative 1. The outputs of cosine of x is between negative 1 and 1. So just like in the squeeze theorem, we're trying to make this inside piece match that piece exactly. So what we need to do is we need to add 1 to everything. So we know then that 0 is less than or equal to 1 plus cosine of x, which is less than or equal to 2. Now what we want to do from here is we want to take the square root. So we take the square root of everything. And we get that 0 is less than or equal to the square root of 1 plus cosine of x, which is less than or equal to the square root of 2. So this means that the maximum that one, the square root of 1 plus cosine of x can be is square root of 2. And remember that f of x is on the interval of 0 to 1. So here we're going to use the maximum inequality. And in case you forgot the maximum inequality, it says that the integral from a to b of f of x dx is less than or equal to the maximum of f of x times b minus a. So the integral has to be less than the maximum value times b minus a. So we get that the integral from 0 to 1 cosine of x plus 1 all under a square root dx is less than or equal to the square root of 2 times 1 minus 0 which is the square root of 2 times 1, which is equal to about 1.414, which is less than or equal to 3 halves. So we get that the integral from 0 to 1 of the square root of cosine x plus 1 is less than or equal to 3 halves. And we're done. So what we did here, just to walk through the problem again, is we found the integral and we set it bounded between two values, found the maximum, and then showed that the maximum value is less than 3 halves, which is about 1.5. So therefore, since the maximum is less than 3 halves, the integral has to be less than 3 halves. So on your own, I want you to try to show that the integral from 0 to 1 of the square root of sine of 2x dx is less than 5 fourths. All right, let's try it together and see what you got. So we're going to do very similarly to what we did in the last example. We're going to bound sine of 2x. So we know that the output of the sine function is bounded between negative 1 and 1. And then what we need to do is take the square root of both sides. So notice, though, that we're only going to be looking at this part. So we're going to completely ignore this. So we get that sine of 2x is less than or equal to 1. We take the square root of both sides. And you get that the square root of sine of 2x is less than or equal to 1. So the maximum, the max of f of x is equal to 1 on the interval 0 to 1. Again, this, this right here is the max value we get that the integral from 0 to 1 of the square root of sine of 2x dx is less than or equal to 1, the maximum, times b minus a, so 1 minus 0, which is equal to 1, which is strictly less than 5 fourths. So we get the integral from 0 to 1 square root sine of 2x dx is strictly less than 
five-fourths. To get these right, you do need to show all of the work.